Okay, so full disclosure, uh, never, no, I take that back. My 89 Mustang, I did drop the gas tank probably a couple times, but it was like a classic style um, with just the two straps. You know, they ran that forever from the 60s on up. <clears throat> so super easy to take out, just put a jack under it, unbolt the two straps and drop it down. Disconnect everything, you're done. Um, this looks fairly easy, but um, it's a little bit engineered a little bit differently. So uh, yeah, so the full disclosure is uh, you get to follow along with me as I just kind of figure it out all by myself. Okay, so gas tank, make car go. All right, there's a hard mounted bracket here up front, which is nice. So it looks like I've got just two nuts. It might be a, a through bolt now that I feel the top um, holding the front on. And I presume it'll just swing down after I also remove the single strap, uh, which is right here. And let me slide the light around. I can see a bolt right there. And this side, hopefully, is the hinge. Uh, no, it's a second bolt. Oh, okay. And I don't think, I think that might be a, hopefully that's a welded <laughs> nut up there. Because I don't know how, oh, probably, oh yeah. All right, so if that spins, you get to the nut on the other side of that bolt on the top of the frame. You just reach up in there with a opening wrench. All right, and the back side. Here we go. Oh, getting too old for this. Here we go. Come on. What are we doing back here? Ah, uh, oh, there's a bracket back here too. Look at there. That. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. I think you just undo this guy. There is two bolts up here holding this whole bracket on. I think you just undo this guy and then slide it the two inches that way. You get it to drop down and all the hoses. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to probably have to pause this. I don't know. I think... Yeah, I think... Let's see. Uh, I thought I'd pressure wash this in here. Obviously not. So those hoses are quite easily to get to to disconnect. All right. I think I think we start there and. Move to the strap next. And in theory, if I have a jack under this end, because it'll want to pivot off this once that metal strap is gone, the front is completely supported. So I put the jack under here, not to compress, but just to hold it in place so I can remove that metal strap. And then and then come back and unbolt the front and the back here and then use the jack to lower the back uh, and it should slide off the front and then the whole thing will just crash to the ground of course. Okay, well I get to uh, figure out how to crawl out from under here now. Yeah, good stuff. All right, well I know where to begin. So let's get her done. Too much gas I get on me.
Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I'm relatively set up. Let's see. Oh well. Oh. Just got up too. God. Now, most of you probably know this trick already, but you can take wire tape around your swivel joint and it will still bend a little bit I mean you can force it all the way if you want but it'll keep it from flopping over let's try Not a three quarter nut. Just the roots. Oh. I don't take the crazy pills. Let's go find what size Rex's nut is. That's a. 11 sixteenths, of course. Of course, I knew that. Don't be silly. Yeah, definitely. Five eighths there. It's gonna jam around in there. Thank you hooked it. Feels reasonable. Order steady. Oh no. You know, I did this backwards. 
Should have done this one first. Tip number 6,000. means another chance at a bunch of gasoline in the face. Yes! a perfectly good electric one. Well, this is what I can reach. <laughs> I'm too lazy to be lazier. <laughs> I'll be damned. Okay. So I can't swivel them off that end because of this guy. I have to take that other brick off. Bracket goes. 
There we go, weights off the bracket. Definitely guessing. Nice random red wire. It's always good times. All right. Everything looks clear. Should be able to drop it down. Let's find out how much gas is in this damn thing. All right, there she is. Next, we gotta clean these guys up so we can knock them out and inspect them this is the pickup this should be just the level sending unit don't you know how much fuel you've got all right skipping the boring stuff